People are already jealous because of my brand new Beanie Baby, the little spider. They're already jealous of the house. They're saying it's fake, but it's not. Let me prove to the Beanie Baby community that it's real, but they keep hating this limited edition. Okay, only a few of them were made. Love it so much. Keep on hating, hating in the comments. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Oh, honey. Just when I thought it, I would have a day off. I, I really did. But honestly, I can't get a day off to save my life. Can't even get a damn like or dislike to save my life. It's a damn video. Because every time the video goes up, Yolanda already beats me to the damn video she dislikes at the hop. I don't know how she does it. Because you know she's in jail for murdering that woman. What was her name? Selena. I hate her so much, girl. Anyways, it helps to struggle. You know, helps to struggle. So give the video a like. I know you're at home all bitter, the house all mad, going to the gig. Give the video a little like. You know, leave a little comment. Share it with the hater. You know, you should share this video on Facebook and really freak them out. You know what I'm saying? Do that. Anyways, all right, I feel like we need to talk, okay? Because I was like, okay, good. There's, no, there's not any drama. I, maybe I get to do like something cool, like maybe a mukbang video or something. Well, no. Because then this came across my desk and I was like, oh girl, another busted ass James Charles video. I mean, this is what my life has come to, girl. Talking about busted ass James Charles. This is my third video in a row. I can't believe it. I mean, I'd much rather talk about Jackie Aina. I'd much rather be talking about Jackie anything for views Aina. Jacqueline QVC anything for views Hill. I'd rather be talking about Nikki, anything for views, tutorial, somebody else, girl. But here we are, once again, talking about Buzz and James Charles, girl. Okay, so apparently she got into some drama. Okay, well, you already know. I have my little receipt. So let me see what we got here. James Charles says, please stop showing up at my house. I will not hug you. I will not take a photo with you. And I absolutely will not sign your palette. It's extremely disrespectful and makes me feel very unsafe in my own home. Respect people's privacy, the house. It's really not that hard. Now, if you read the small print of that tweet, at the very bottom it says, Please subscribe to Rich Lux, give the video a like, comment, and subscribe, thing, James. So yeah, so I was like, what is she talking about, girl? What is, what is the hell is James Charles talking about? Well, then she goes on a Snapchat. She makes a video. Roll it, girl, here we go. Issue for a very, very long time because sometimes when you talk about an issue, it can become a bigger issue. But this is getting very, very out of hands and I need to address it right now. Um, if for some reason you know or have found out or done research on where me and my little brother live, um, do not come here because you are not invited. Um, don't drive here. Don't walk here. Don't drive by and scream Sister James out the window. Don't get out of your car with the James Charles palette and ask me to sign it or take a picture with you or send a video to your friend because I absolutely will not. In fact, if you are ringing my doorbell eight times every three minutes and hiding behind my garbage cans, I will call the police because that is literally harassment. This is my private property and this is my place of work and it is so incredibly rude and it just makes me feel very, very unsafe and uncomfortable and now my neighbors are starting to get annoyed as well, which is completely unfair. I will never understand the mentality behind thinking that this is genuinely okay. And what I really don't fucking get is the parents who know that their kids are doing this or even worse, driving them here because they're too young to actually drive themselves. It, it blows my mind, okay? People deserve their privacy. This is my home. If I see you in public, I would love to give you a hug. I would love to take a selfie with you. I would love to thank you for your support to me. I would love to sign your palette if you happen to have it or your sister's apparel ready or send a video to your friend, but not on my front porch. Please leave me in peace. Please leave my family in peace and respect people's privacy. It is really not that hard. Why don't she live in the gated community with all those coins, girl? I thought she lived in the gated community of the house. 
Yeah, where are the guards? Where's Carrie? You know what I'm saying? Did she just buy like a little basic little home? Where you just can drive up and anyone can see her, girl. I mean, some people I know, they live behind gates, girl. You know what I'm saying? Or they have security, or they, they live in a building with a lot of security, girl. I don't know what type of home James Charles is living in where people can just willy nilly walk up to her and start begging for a hug or a pallet, girl. But I will say this a very, it's a trend now to have uh, unpopular opinions or whatever. But I feel like James Charles is lying in the house. I feel like, where's the receipts? Where's the video? Where are the videos of people stalking her and all that stuff in front of her house, girl? Okay? Because if, if not, it is off for views. But, you know, let me go ahead and play the devil's advocate, girl. Okay? Allegedly, people are coming up and begging her the house for a picture and a photo. And James Charles is just so rude, she don't want to do it, girl. Because she feels that it's her house. And she don't need to be doing all that stuff around her house. Yada, yada, yada. Which I understand. And I totally agree. We all want James Charles to be safe, girl. And I'm pretty sure I would be really annoyed, too, if people came to my house begging for photos and autographs. You know? But, I don't know. Is it really that many people? Or is it like just a little coincidence? I don't know. But for those of you who are mega James Charles fans, the ones who are always in my comments and my videos, how dare you talk about James Charles? You don't even know her! I love the magic! They just attack me and I get a little death threats. Like, girl, it is the true tea, honey. Some of these people out there, well, relax. How dare you talk about this person? I love him so much. Like, this is why. I get so many comments because people are very passionate about these people that they watch on the internet every day. They get really upset, you know. Let somebody make a video about me. Rich Lux is fake, girl. All in the comments. Yeah, he is fake. Hate hey, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't nobody gonna be in there. How dare you talk about Rich Lux, girl? They're the bandwagon hate, girl. Okay. Anyway, I just I just can't get a break to save my life. Anyway, we have some other drama to talk about, too. Oh, my gosh. I forgot to tell y'all. So, um, I got these lippies. Okay, hold on. Let me not get them together because there's, like, a, a, quite a few of them. Okay, they're by this brand called Hank and Henry. Not sponsored. But, oh, that, not this one. Okay, because that was, like, a KKW one. There's a match. All right, so Hank and Henry sent over these. And I want to do some swatches because they look so freaking amazing. Girl. Okay, can I just do one right now? I'm gonna do one because I got some other drama. Okay, let me just do one. Okay, this one is so pretty. I think I might have to like, okay, first of all, look. But it's not what you think it is. It looks like that, but look. You get it? Look how pretty this is. Oh, I love it so much. Look, oh my gosh, yes. So beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And they have other stuff on here, but we'll swatch that later. Okay, for those of you who know, who care, this was in color, Orale by Hank and Henry. I love it. We got some more drama the house, girl. Because Jeffree Star had something to say too, girl. All right, are you ready for this one? Okay, here's what she said. Hold on. This video idea is important. And I find it funny how brands are afraid to expose the money they pay influencers. But it's advertising just like Pepsi paying to be in a movie. But makeup cam companies want to be a secret. Why? This brand offered me $165 million. No, it really is. $165,000. Use their new product. To use their new product. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I want to see that video. Jeffree Star has been hyping up this video for a while, and I'm very interested to see. I think, my, my opinion, my conspiracy allegedly, I feel that companies, like, don't want to expose how much they pay people because I feel like they pay people different amounts based on their following and their reach and most importantly their public persona you know or the public response right you can have millions of subscribers but if nobody likes you no one likes you you know what i'm saying so you probably won't get like the best deals but i feel like you know some people 
probably get paid more than others. And I think that it can hurt people's feelings. Like, well, we have the same amount of subscribers. Why does she get paid a million dollars? And I only get paid $500. You know, it's different because maybe some people just have more of a reach, a different demographic, and that very well goes into play, right? You can have the same amount of subscribers as somebody, but the audience could be totally different. Totally different ages, totally different races, totally different parts of the country or the world. You know, it's a totally different gig, you know? So I think I think it's fair how sometimes companies wanna pay people differently and don't wanna like disclose because I think it I think it will be kinda unfair. This is my opinion, I could be wrong. I don't wanna offend, offend anybody, but I think it'll be kinda unfair if it's like here's a hundred thousand dollars flat fee for any person with a million subscribers. Like, you know, I think that it could be, I always feel like it could be negotiable. It could be even maybe more or less, just depending on the type of content, you know? Cause you wanna, if you wanna have a brand and you wanna sponsor people, you wanna make sure that that person you're sponsoring fits your brand, you know? Unless you're trying to go for a new demographic and you want something totally different, then of course it all makes sense. But anyway, so that's what Jeff Star was talking about. Let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. So let's get onto these swatches, okay. So here we go. So this is in color, lick her, something with an H, but I can't see because my lashes are so big. Okay. Can you imagine if that was the name of the, of the, of the color? I can't see because my lashes are so big. Okay, so that was that one. Um, let's do another one. Oh my gosh, this one right here. Check it out. Duh, one, D-U-H, one. Okay, hold on. It doesn't look like much now. There we go. See, this like a little pinky one. And it's like a little purpley tone. I freaking love Hank and Henry. Oh my gosh, what are you doing? So this one is called Your Mom. And here we go. We're going to put this one here. Well, I suck at these guys. Hold on. There we go. Oh, yes. It's so cute. This one is 1985. All right. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, sorry about that. Let me. I suck at that. Okay, there we go. Nineteen eighty-five. Oh, what a beautiful nude, guys! Definitely check out Hank and Henry. Not sponsored. I love the brand. It is it's an amazing brand over there. Okay, guys. If you like the video, smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send to your little haters. When they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of their life they'll never get back. And don't forget, I do have music and merchandise down below. Check it out if you want. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Love you so much.